You know, it's so hard for me yeah. in 2021. It's letting the Lord lead me through mm -hmm. humility to forgiveness. And, you know, yes, we're going to be try to be unoffendable. But when we think about what's happening on our nation's stage right now, mm. it's a lot of offenses that have been built up, that have been stacked on top of one another over time and um, with words and with events. And we have just had an interesting 365 plus days, right? And the reality is one of the things the Lord's been helping me with as a black woman in America with two black sons and a black husband, there are things that are offenses that really do trickle down to the everyday life. Say for instance, and I've said it before, yeah. but my husband and I have this agreement that it's not his habit to take the trash out at night because we live in a neighborhood where there aren't many people who look like us in that neighborhood and people who look like us have been accused of stealing in my neighborhood before with no proof. So it's kind of like, buddy, just be safe. Stay inside at nighttime because in our neighborhood, people shoot first, ask questions later. And so the reality is there, there are things, there are big things that happen that are tragedies that trickle on down into everyday life. You know, I go to Starbucks and I have my infant there when my four-year-old was an infant and a man looks at my baby and says, what are you looking at, you little punk? Well, now we can talk about being unoffendable all we want to, but in that moment, <laughs> what I'm here to tell you that your girl from Memphis has to hear that I have to forgive those debts as I've been forgiven. And the crux for me is always this. And it's the Lord saying, Janice, it's about humility. Please understand that whatever can possibly offend slash hurt slash wound you has offended me more. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. sinning against what you think is you is really them sinning against me because I am holy mm -hmm. and the chasm between God and every human being is so wide that the chasm between me and somebody else who offends me in that moment is so minuscule in comparison that that's the Lord saying, listen, you forgiving them of five cents compared to me forgiving you of trillions of dollars, that's what we're looking at. And so when I say forgive, I'm not saying that what they did is not deplorable, is not painful, is not tragic, is not horrible. I'm saying that what I have to offer and what I've offered you and what you've accepted is way more magnificent. The fact that your sin against me would have kept you away from me for eternity. Mm -hmm. And I wiped the slate yeah. clean. And in light of yes. that, what I want you to do is wipe the slate clean. And you're going to need me to do it because it requires humility. And yeah. that's from God. It's true. Yeah. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, yeah. humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another. And if one has a complaint against the other, here's what you do. It says, forgive each other. <laughs> as the Lord has yeah. forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And I think, you know, Many, many years, what I was taught is, hey, if you have an, an ought against somebody, you got to go to them. Um, and that's not realizing the weightiness of the word ought in the Greek. Like that's not, we really mean complaint. If you have a complaint against somebody, go to them. No, but the word says, if you have a complaint against somebody, forgive them. And that's the first yeah. order of business. And it's something that we have to put on as believers, it's something that we have to choose and clothe ourselves with. And um, it just reminds me that the first order of business must be forgiveness. And that's how I get to the other side of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.